The next two candidates for the Tuscaloosa City School Superintendent position interviewed for the job tonight. WVA's Matt McCoy has a look at why they think they deserve the title. The interview started with handshakes and introductions. Dr. Tony LaMare Burks II from San Diego, California, and Dr. Patrick McKendrick of Lynchburg, Virginia, were the next candidates in front of the board for the superintendent job. My leadership style is one in which I, I use collaborative, uh, a collaborative manner as much as possible. I know that at the same time you have to, uh, someone has to answer questions, someone has to make a decision. But in most cases, uh, I find that the job of a superintendent is one in which you're solving problems. My style is one that is collaborative, um, but there's a, a level of decisiveness. So I firmly believe in certainly collecting the opinions, the feedback, the ideas, the thoughts and perspectives of individuals. At, at some point, though, it was incumbent upon me as an educational leader uh, to be that decisive person, to make a decision. A big issue for some board members is how the new superintendent will work with the board. At the end of the day, uh, as I say to people out in California, at the end of the day, I'm just a good old country boy from Dothan, Alabama. And uh, for me, my grandmother and grandfather taught me that it's important to build relationships with people. The community needs to see uh, and needs to understand that the board and the superintendent are working hand in glove together to, to put forth uh, all of the matters that you're, that you're dealing with. But if selected for the job, what are their plans for their first few days in a new office? It's a 90-day plan in which you're listening, you're visiting as many people as possible, um, as many parts of the community as possible. I thought it was critically important to um, um, basically prepare a superintendent's entry plan that focuses on listening, learning, and leading collecting information from the community, uh, getting a sense of what's working, uh, what are strengths, as I call them, triumphs, what are challenges, or as some people call them, opportunities, um, figuring out what are those things that we ought to be working on. The final two candidates for the Tuscaloosa City School Superintendent take the hot seat tomorrow night. Reporting in Tuscaloosa, Matt McCoy, WVUA News. Last night, the board interviewed John Scanlon from Rochester, New York, and Dr. Dexter Suggs from Indianapolis. Tomorrow, the board will interview Barry Carroll from Athens, Alabama, and Deborah Pickett from Marietta, Georgia. You can meet the superintendent candidates during a public forum July 6th and 7th at Central High School.